today I am killing four HP PCs. In this video I will be talking about the boot menu. So already I have selected, um, we want to select English. Now in order to get to the boot menu you can either press whatever it tells you, it is usually F2 or F10. And you go to boot menu or boot orders, my mistake. And you should have an option like this. So what you want to do is you want to set it so it will boot to three and a half inch floppy. So we want to change that so that is in first. Hit escape, go down, save changes, exit. Now what you want to do is you have your three and a half inch floppy with a program kill disk. Insert it, and it'll automatically boot to the three and a half inch floppy. If anyone has seen the other videos I have made in the first two kill discs videos, it is pretty much all the same. As so, it takes you to this menu, and you want to scroll down, and you want your HDDD drive hit enter and then you get this list of options and you hit enter again and then you type in kill disk and all capital letters make sure you always type in, in capital letters and then it starts to kill so what I have here is a KVM I'm already, um, this KVM is hooked up to these four HP computers. We're going to select the second one, which is this one, as so. So it's already ready. I did this ahead of time. So now we're going to kill this one as well. never happened before. It's probably because of the programs down in there. So all I have to do is take this out, put it in the second computer, and we'll try again. obviously having problems in this video. This video was mostly for the boot menu, nothing particularly special. So but as you can see, it was just step by step to take you to the boot menu. This video is more of in instructional purposes. Now, <clears throat> what a KVM does is it allows me to, to uh, run all four of these computers, as you can see, and using only one mouse and keyboard. So the KVM comes in very handy, as you can see. Uh, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to restart this computer. We're going to try again. Now that second computer I've already set to boot to the three and a half inch floppy drive, so it should take me right straight to it. And it's doing that now.
now that since it's already taken me here, we can eject this. And set this one up to kill. As I said before, always do this in capital letters. Now when you're typing in for a command, like with the first part where it's just a black and white screen, it doesn't matter. You can type it in in either caps or lowercase letters. But for this, when you make it to here, always use capital letters. Now let's check on number three. Okay, we're ready here. So as before, this is all the same process. There we go. Now let's go to number four. Might need to restart it. down is so hit yes which is the which is why you need to hit the letter y and you type in kill this in all capital letters is so like I've said before and hit enter <clears throat> please be aware if you decide to do this you are also wiping your operating system your operating system is like Windows XP or Vista now, if you decide if you get a new computer, you can use Kill Disk and wipe Vista and put XP on there. Now, I've noticed that a lot of people prefer XP over Vista. One, it is more secure. Two, it's ready for the it's it's for the, it's ready for the it's always ready for the business world. Vista is not. So, if you do decide to do that with any new computers, you can go ahead and do so. And Enough said. Enjoy this video. I hope you have learned something today on Kill Disk.